Hello and welcome. So today I visited this series whereby we started planting tomatoes. If you missed the videos that we did in the past, we have done a video where we did consultation with the team from Winpart Agrochem, a company that specializes with uh, um, Agrochem. Yeah, so they will explain what they offer. So day one, we actually went for consultation that we are just getting started in terms of farming and we need some advice. We visited the land and the day number, another day, we asked the profit projection whereby we get, we got estimates of when we are planting tomatoes, this is what, are we, well, this is what you get and other uh, trips in between whereby we want to buy the seedlings and also when we had to do a couple of things and so our goal is to create a series of um of, of videos so we're going to have um desire who is one of the guys from wind part as well today you may you might be seeing him for the first time but he's gonna come to this place and share his thoughts on the progress that is happening so far and giving his insights and anything in between thank you Okay, so this is the first farm visit I've had. Pan, uh, a few of my colleagues have been here before. So today we were, uh, were looking at the progress of this tomato variety, which was, the, from the knowledge I've gathered, it's a, it's a month and three weeks now. And from what I've seen, and uh, from what I've heard, I, I think the guys are doing a pretty good job. They are just a few ups and downs which need to be corrected yeah. like for example um, there is the application of calcium nitrate calcium nitrate which helps the flowers not to fall and uh, it helps even the plant itself to have enough calcium up to until the point of which it would have matured and uh, as you can see these are these are flowers examples of flowers which would have died due to lack of calcium nitrate and not only calcium nitrate there are certain pests which do affect uh, flowers at this stage of growth and those pests they they can only be controlled by an insecticide which is known as malathion malathion 50 percent that one is specifically meant for pests which affect flowers at this stage of growth so so far, I've mentioned two things. One, involvement of calcium nitrate, so as to help uh, the flowers to be attached to the to the mother plant. Two, uh, spraying of the insecticide, and that's why I know the malathion, sorry for the language, malathion 50%, that will greatly help. And uh, one more thing, these guys mentioned that they are using copper oxychloride once a week. It's, it's very good, it's very good, I don't want to lie. I've also advised them to include more of their method their method which is uh, well known as roga roga is got um it's it's 14 days it's a 14 day pre-harvest interval which actually gives the farmer more time and the crop more time to, to be rid of pests as it mainly con concentrates on um, its growth so that's that's an insecticide we always have to include every single time it has nothing to do with the flowers but with the well-being of the crop, it's more like it's a preventative fungicide because it does last long. So those are three things that so, we've mentioned so, so, so far. So, so now uh, uh, um, I, mm -hmm. I looked at these flowers. Yes. Okay. Come closer. Mm -hmm. If you look at this flower, okay, this flower is a is a little bit fresh. Yes. But if you look at this one, is it is it dying out or it, is it just starting to bloom? No, it 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 already has died out. Okay, okay. This is a good example. If you can concentrate your camera on this, you yeah. see, it actually fell off. Okay, it it got to a point whereby it wilted, and then eventually it fell off. Okay, what what what, what is this? The, 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 what, what does that mean? Okay, so what this it's a means, sign of what? It's a sign of um. Uh, it's a uh, what what do they call this? They call this um. It's a deficiency. Okay, it's a deficiency. That's where calcium nitrate does come in. Okay, the mother plant always has to be fully provided calcium. Okay. So that not only does it help the, the, the flowers not to detach themselves from the, the, the mother plant, this detaching happens at any given time due to the weather conditions sometimes, even during watering. But if the plant has got enough calcium nitrate, we won't come across such situations. 
Okay. Because if this was an insect, trust me, would have seen signs of 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 biting and chewing. But see, it's, an insect. Mm, it, it, it's wiltering off. It's simply wiltering off. Okay. Yeah. But why is it wiltering off when others are blooming? It simply means that it has a deficiency. Okay, and how do you solve that? That, that is the... We introduce calcium nitrate and even potassium nitrate. Potassium, potassium nitrate and calcium nitrate, they have to be interchangeable at a seven-day interval. Mm -hmm. That not only helps the plant to... See, you asked a good question, Anne. You mm -hmm. said, why is it some of the flowers are falling off while on the other same are... On the same yeah. mother plant? Yeah. yeah, on the same mother plant. The mother plant does have calcium, but the calcium is not enough for the whole crop you the get it crop, okay. yeah that's why we're having such 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 flowers okay so which, did you show the guys them? what they should do because i think we do have all the chemicals at, at this place okay. okay yeah if you can also show them like this is the, the end result of <laughs> the, the, the end result and this is the chemical that you need to put in and maybe okay, the, okay. Yeah. unfortunately i i i i just you know yeah because they do have the, the 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 chemicals they oh in the, in the store yeah, they it's, do have them, yeah it's okay if if if, if you're comfortable with us going there to the to, yeah to, you, you, you can do that and show the wait, wait and then now when mm -hmm. you look at the uh you you mentioned something about the uh, about the fruits, mm -hmm. okay, about the tomato. Mm -hmm. From what you're seeing, what's your comment? From what I'm seeing, they told me that the, the tomato is a month and three weeks old. Uh -huh. A month and three weeks old. Yeah, right? and the, 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 the leaves, they're not showing any forms of discoloration, implying that as far as a fungal infections are concerned, which is the most threatening, one of the most threatening uh, problems that tomatoes have, mm -hmm. we have that covered. So as long as the crop is good, Healthy leaves, it means it will always have healthy, healthy, healthy fruits, healthy produce. Yeah. Yes, okay. and so far, I, I, I have only come across one, one fruit, which, which, which shows signs of damage. But it's not, it's not even a deficiency or anything. No, it's, it's a matter of. Uh, the, so the, are you trying to look for the fruit again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that I, I, I can locate it or, or one of the, the colleagues that in Panava. Okay. The girl, what's her oh, name? Oh, this is a cabbage. Yeah, it's a cabbage. I don't know how it, it ended up there. <laughs> oh, but it seems as if it's growing on well, yeah? Yeah, but as long as the crop is in the wrong place, it's a weed. <laughs> it's a weed. I want to eat this one, let it grow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's but, a weed, anyway, we remove it. Yeah, you're going to lose one of the two. Okay, it says that you lose the, 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 the actual plant. Mm. In, and so, so, I don't know if I can call one of the, uh, the, the girl. She's the one who saw the tomato. Please come. So, the, there's the pruning that I saw that they were doing the pruning. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does the pruning do on, on the plant? Well, the, the pruning basically helps to concentrate uh, all required nutrients mm -hmm. towards uh, reproductive growth instead of uh, vegetative growth. Okay, so we are looking for that plant uh, that is deficient. If you can look, help us look for, locate it. It's, uh, it's um, the, the one which we thought was ready for harvest, and then you mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. That one. So it's, it's not a deficiency per se. Okay. It's, a, it's as a result of um, high levels of urea, which is found in the... Um, okay. Oh, ah, thanks. Okay. So we were talking about um, pruning. What are the benefits of pruning and why yes. do we need to do it? Yeah, okay. Benefits of pruning and why we need to prune in the first place. Let's look at those plants that have been pruned. Yeah? Okay. So these are the plants that have not been pruned, yeah? Again, as the plants which have been pruned. Yeah, this one they've been pruned, yeah. Okay, so firstly, pruning not only does it does it help the plant to look good on its own, Wango Tarisa, as, as a farm manager, yes. pruning helps to concentrate the nutrients that are being implemented into the towards the growing of the, of the crop. Yes. More of uh, reproductive growth rather than vegetative growth. Okay. So if we do not prune, we end up having the leaves growing to such an extent that they are, they are actually way bigger than the plants. Okay. So all the, the nutrients will be going there. That's one of the reasons why we need to prune Okay, so this is the pruning. Yeah, that's so, the pruning. So pruning happens after how long? Pruning doesn't really have time, so which when, we can when, say. When you notice the leaves that yeah. need to be pruned and then you just... Then we, we do that. Usually it should be a hobby of pruning. Okay. Yeah, it should be a hobby of pruning. But after we prune, can you please co concentrate your camera on this? So you see these nodules whereby, yes. uh, yeah, whereby the, the plant would have been... Cut off. Yeah. Cut off, yeah. yeah. After we do that, mm -hmm. the crop on its own is, is 
not only been helped, but it has also been made a victim of uh, fungal infections due to this. Okay. Yeah, this is where opportunity, opportunistic infections come through. And okay. So, so this how, guess, how do you protect we, from, from the infections coming in through that? Uh, we protect by what these guys are already doing, which okay. is a good job of spraying copper oxychloride. Okay, that's fine. We have to do that like on a regular basis, like okay. what they say they are doing. Okay. And also potassium nitrate. The issue of potassium nitrate, which I never heard them mention mm -hmm. ever since we came into this uh, plantation of ours. Potassium nitrate, they haven't mentioned it. Okay. I don't know if you guys have it in the bag. We bought everything. So we okay. bought um, yeah, f everything from, from, from... So when it came to wind part to your mm -hmm. shop, in Arare, yes. we, we, we spoke to one of the agronomists and then he gave us a list of everything that needs to be bought. And we asked him to give us everything. Yes. So I'm sure he's staying in the store with the guys we show you. So you wanted to say? Okay, so, so I was saying that I, I never heard them mention it and you say that they, 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 you guys have everything. We have everything. Yes. So I think it's an issue which we have to, to, to speak about, and especially the spring interval, since I mentioned that okay. it's, it's a seven day interval. Okay, like you fine. spray calcium nitrate today, after seven days you spray potassium nitrate. Okay, that's that fine. is very helpful. Okay. That is very so helpful. let's look at that tomato where you spoke about. Uh, I, I, saw hope, it I hope I won't miss it. I hope I won't miss it. <laughs> I saw it somewhere here. Oh. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So this is the tomato that looks ready but it's... It's not. It's damaged, yeah? It's actually damaged. It's actually damaged. Firstly, we thought that it was ready, but then it's not ready at all. Mm -hmm. It's not ready at all. What would have happened is this. Since right now we're experiencing um, high, high temperatures. Yes. And already, I, I, I've noticed that you guys are using um, chicken, manure. chicken manure, which is very, 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 very okay. It's very good. Is that what they call bedding? Like putting manure yeah, into it? Yeah, it, it is bedding. But there is this one thing you need to, to, to be very cautious about. Mm -hmm. Chicken manure has got high levels of urea. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it is very high levels of urea. So these guys have to irrigate at a higher rate as well. At a higher rate as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. They have to do that. I heard uh, one of the guys, Seguru, mm -hmm. yes, Kule was saying that uh, when he irrigates, he makes sure that Vuraya and Jenga, okay. like uh, the, 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 it's more like water logging okay. when he's irrigating. To make sure that balances. Yeah, he, he said that, I hope it's, 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 it's like he does as he says it. Okay. So this is as a result of, 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 of that. Yeah. Of too much. Uh, too much urea. Too much urea. Yeah. Okay. To the extent that I bet this tomato reached this level due to the fact that it was getting heat, like atmospheric heat. At the same time, we've got a whole lot of urea which the crop is taking in. But okay. then the irrigation maybe might be slightly not equivalent, equivalent okay. to... Okay. Yeah, yeah. So talking of, uh, of a ratio of what you saw on all the plants, mm -hmm. um, so what I need you to judge is a percentage value, whereby from the time that they said the plants are doing, what sort of value would you give to say, um, I would say maybe, I would say 90%, mm -hmm. they are going at a good rate, 10% is all those things that need to be solved. Or maybe you could say, wow, 90% these plants are going at a bad rate. Mm -hmm. well, 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 what would be your ratio? Okay, my, my ratio, firstly, I, I, would, I would start by saying, um, to be honest, these guys, you guys, Kuda and your team, you are doing a great job. Okay. To be honest, you guys are doing a great job. Thanks to Winpart, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as far as percentage is concerned, mm -hmm. This is a very good crop. Okay, so we'd say 100%, 99%. 99%. There are just a few touch-ups. Okay. Just a few touch-ups. Like, for instance, mm -hmm. if there is, cons like there is constants and, and consistency mm -hmm. within the irrigation schemes, we wouldn't have such situations. I want, to, I want you to look at this crop. Mm -hmm. this is, these are tomatoes which are on the same mother, right? Yes. But do you see the growth rate of these tomatoes? Yes. Different growth rate, or oh, this yeah. is something we came across as well. Mm. Different growth rates. Yes. Why do we have different growth rates? That is all because there might be, there might not be consistent and constant irrigation uh, measures which are being implemented. implemented okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't want to criticize the work being done in a bad way or anything, but this is what's on the ground. This okay. is a very good tomato project, and it's showing. Uh, a very good harvest. Yeah, huh? it is, my guy. <laughs> it is. And I'm very proud of you guys. Okay, thank I'm you so much. I'm very proud of yeah, you guys. Thank you so much. Just a few touch-ups. These are just minor touch-ups. Okay. We're talking about um, flowers detaching. Mm -hmm. We are talking about um, 
irrigation on its yeah. own, yes. how, how, how our crop will be affected. We just saw an example of how it will be affected if we do not irrigate as much as we are supposed to be doing. Okay. And we are also talking about uh, involvement of, of an insect side, which gives us more ample time to, you know, for the crop to grow, as well as for the insects to stay away from it, which is the method which I mentioned. Yes. Rog. It has a very intense smell, which is helpful. So those are three things that we've mentioned. Irrigation, insect side, and um, calcium nitrate. Yeah. yeah. For the flowers. Okay. Other than that, oh, all good. All good. The pruning, however, mm -hmm. we, we, we lastly spoke about the pruning. And after you guys prune, that's where potassium nitrate comes in place. Okay. Okay. Potassium nitrate, it now does not only help for the um, establishment of the crop into the into the soil on its own, but it also helps the crop to for the, the, the worn out tissues to okay. recover. Okay. So okay. potassium nitrate, calcium nitrate. Okay, Other than that, okay. Mr. So, Uda, yeah. just ask whatever you need to ask from the guys. Uh, we do have everything in the storeroom, and mm -hmm. then just show them how they. I will believe when I see. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> that <laughs> okay, you, that's fine. You've, so, okay. is there anything else that we can talk about other than what we have seen so far? Yeah, nothing now. You sure? Nothing for now, yeah. Nothing okay. Now. Yeah, thank you okay. so much. Yeah. It's, okay. it's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Very that must pleasure. be great uh, explanation. So, you know, there could be farmers that are like as aspiring, we're called aspiring farmers, you know, when yes. we're trying to, you know, get the, idea, the ball rolling and thank you so much for, you know, creating time for us. It's my pleasure. Uh, just my pleasure. the little guy, the small guys that are trying to do something. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how can people get in touch with you in case uh, they notice something when you're explaining and yeah. they wanted to ask questions? How can people get in touch with okay, you? Okay. Um, how are you? Uh, it's, it's my honor to be here. So as far as uh, getting in contact with us is concerned, you can contact uh, Mr. Doncha Vampero. The phone number is 771 206 I'm going to repeat this, 771 206 And uh, if you do want to see us in person, we are located at Corner Second and Kenneth Kaunda. We are also located in South Avenue. We also have a branch in 2nd Street uh, towards uh, Corner 2nd and Kenneth County. And we also have uh, a bigger branch that we have recently opened, which is located at, um, uh, near, the, the, near Amtec, which is founded at 4th. Yeah, 4th Street. Yeah, 4th Street, yeah. 4th Street, yeah. That's where we, we, we are located. And you can inquire for any agrochemical uh, and veterinary problems or whatsoever despite the level of farming you might be in be it a small scale farmer or commercial farmer we cater for any any type of farming and uh thank you so much mr kuda for having me okay thank you so much let's go and have lunch okay. <laughs> thank you